Tēnā tātou katoa, good evening. After a day of digging in, the Prime Minister pulled a late U-turn, announcing he'll no longer claim a $52,000 a year top-up to his salary. Christopher Luxon was taking the $1,000 a week as an accommodation supplement to live in his own mortgage-free apartment. Luxon was initially unapologetic, saying it was his entitlement. But just after 5pm, he read the room. Political reporter Amelia Wade has more. A fly-in visit to the jewel in our tourism crown. I've never done anything like this before. Amid claims Christopher Luxon's lost touch of what's happening on the ground. You live at Auckland? I do live in Auckland, yeah. The Prime Minister famously has seven houses. His family home is in Auckland's most prestigious suburb, Remuera. But of course, now he's PM, he spends three days a week in Wellington. I come down on a Monday and I leave on a Wednesday while I'm in Wellington. Uh, that's why I live in my apartment. Among the seven Luxon properties, an apartment owned outright, directly across the road from Parliament. He's decided that's a much nicer spot than this one, which is just used for official duties like hosting cricketers. He has the option of living in the grand historic Premier House afforded to Prime Ministers to live in. As Prime Minister, I'd like to live there. Uh, Premier House has got maintenance issues and I can't live there at this point in time. Premier House certainly needs some maintenance work, but there is nothing in that report that says it's uninhabitable. Not only has Luxon turned up his nose at the free house, he's charging the taxpayer $1,000 a week to live in his own, claiming 52 grand a year accommodation allowance to live in his mortgage-free apartment. Anyone outside of a Greater Wellington area is entitled to the entitlements. Really leaning on the fact he's simply entitled to it. An entitlement. It's an entitlement that I have and I'm just entitled to the entitlements that everyone else has. It's just an entitlement. They're part of an entitlement for an out of Wellington MP. It's an entitlement and I'm well within the rules. Christopher Luxon's treating hardworking Kiwis like a bottomless ATM. He needs to apply his own tough love standard to himself. The $52,000 top up to his half million dollar PM salary is tax free. 52000 is more than double what a sole parent on the benefit makes. That's $24,500 after tax. And more than a minimum wage worker who gets $39,000. We've got people in New Zealand who are entitled to a decent standard of living, a decent life, entitled to a job, entitled to fair pay, to dignity, to not live in poverty. Um, they are the people who are entitled. He is not entitled to rip off the taxpayer. The revelation comes on a day when one of his own cabinet ministers was boasting about the government's austerity focus. What we've been really focused on is getting some fiscal austerity back into the game and making sure that law and order... Fiscal austerity. fiscal austerity? Is that what we're eyeing up? No, fiscal, <laughs> fiscal austerity and responsibility. I don't think Christopher Luxon should be claiming this allowance. I think it's absolutely hypocritical. We have to get a culture of fiscal discipline in place and that's the way we get our inflation down, we get our interest rates down and we get our economy growing ultimately as well. And after that day of digging and at 5.10pm, the Prime Minister did a U-turn, saying that it was clear his taking of the allowance was becoming a distraction, so he would stop taking it and repay what he had already received. But you have to question the political antenna that he didn't see in a cost-of-living crisis when Kiwis are doing it so tough that spending taxpayer cash on himself was tone-deaf. Amelia Wade, News Hub.